Hey everyone, it's me and Chloe. Welcome back. And today we are on another episode of Deep Condition and Chill slash Chat. However you want to do it, I still haven't figured out how I want to say it. Today the deep conditioner that I'm using is by Sultanicals. It is the Minoy Moisture Slip Deep Conditioning Fertilizing Dip. Yes, that is a mouthful. This really works so well for my hair. I feel like all of Sultanicals deep conditioners just work well for everyone, period. So I will definitely put a link in the description as to where you can find this. And here we go with this chat session. Okay, so today's topic is basically, do satin bonnets benefit all hair types? Why am I talking about this? Well, one of my most viewed videos from this channel, um, it's not the number one, but it's like number two, which is um, my video on how people have been kind of wearing satin bonnets in the incorrect way. You will probably see this video up here somewhere, whatever. It's going to be right there. It'll also be in the link in the description as well. I spoke on that because traditionally I had been wearing bonnets that you get from like CVS or you know a beauty supply store and they're not double satin lined and especially if you want something that has like a pretty design like this basically that part was satin but what was on the inside was just like a cheap polyester fabric so you're not actually getting the benefits of the satin so this is when I stumbled upon Scotch Bonnets by Danny, which this is a new one I just got. I will put a link in the description to this specific bonnet because it is just so pretty. I just love it. I wish it came in different colors because pink is not really my favorite color. I wish it was like blue or black or green. Hint, hint. Yes, I am actually deep conditioning under it. Don't worry. I have my plastic bag to protect the bonnet. Can people of all hair types benefit from this? The number one answer is yes. Even if you look at those old movies back in the day where, you know, the ladies were sleeping and stuff, what were they wearing? Bonnets. Were they necessarily satin? Who knows? It was black and white. We couldn't tell. People have always worn things to protect their hair. Men, women, children, whatever. They've always had some type of covering over their hair to protect their hair with the natural hair movement and women who are you know just of color most likely we have been raised regardless of whether we're natural or not that you tie your hair up at night whether you put a scarf on a bonnet do rag whatever even men you know if you want to protect your waves or you know whatever you just want to keep your hair looking nice people of color depending on your texture or just your preference will wear a bonnet or something to protect your hair what goes on now they're satin pillowcases so some people who don't want to put something on top of their head they just say okay well i still want to protect my hair but i'm just going to sleep on a satin pillowcase for me i'm a rough sleeper so that's not really going to work out too much anyway. It's just going to make, it'll make my face feel nice and soft, but it's not going to really do too much, you know, as far as protection for my hair, depending on the state that it's in. So how that benefits towards people of all hair types, basically the kinkier your texture is, the more prone it's, uh, it's more prone to dryness. Satin helps to keep that softness and moisture in your hair. It also prevents split ends because it's a smooth surface. Cotton and you know lace or other thing or wool, those are very rough surfaces. And most people probably don't sleep in lace bedding or um, wool bedding. You may sleep with a, a quilt though. And that is usually wool or yarn and that will suck up your hair and dry it out. Cotton, even though it doesn't have the same appearance of wool and all of that, it still is a very rough structure compared to satin or silk. So if you 
regardless of whatever your hair type is, protecting your hair at night is going to keep your hair from breaking off. It's going to prevent split ends. It's also going to just prevent, you know, if you do have curly hair, it's going to prevent tangles and knots and all these other things. Now, some of that also has to do with your regimen of how you go to sleep at night. But for me, I don't braid my hair up every night. I don't twist it every night. I rarely ever do that. But I make sure that I put on, you know, a satin bonnet or a scarf or something to prevent it from having all these other things because again, I'm a rough sleeper. You want to make sure that you're still protecting your hair at the same time. Regardless of whether you have wavy hair, if you have straight hair, if you have 4C, 4Z hair, wearing a bonnet is still going to be beneficial. Now, you may say, oh, that looks like an old lady type of thing. Do you want to look like an old lady at night or do you want to be a bald headed mess, you know, throughout your whole day and all night? One thing I love about the Scotch Bonnets by Danny is, as you can see, all the way to the very end is satin line. So your edges, one reason sometimes why your edges are coming out is because even what you are tying your hair up with is not really a smooth surface. This is satin. So my edges are always still protected because they're still laying on a, a smooth surface. Depending on your hair type and your hair texture or maybe how you sleep, you may not need to wear a bonnet. You could to invest in a, a satin pillowcase. It doesn't have to be satin, it could be silk, whatever. But is it good to have something to protect your hair? If you care about your hair, yes. One reason why I bought this bonnet, which is the bonnet that I wore in the original video, and it is reversible. So it this is essentially two bonnets. You wanna be yellow one day, you can be blue the next day. Main reason why I got this, because this is a very large bonnet. Like, I'll just show you like if your head can't fit this then that's a problem the reason why i got the bonnet this big was because i also thought about the days of maybe when i'm wearing a protective style if i have braids or you know maybe i'm wearing a wig and it's not really all going to fit so well into this regular medium sized bonnet i want something that has some space but it's also still gonna provide me that smooth protection. And even if you're working with synthetic hair, it's still good to give that hair a smooth surface because again, more friction is gonna create frizz, it's gonna come out looking messy the next day or over time. So you want to give your hair, whether it's synthetic, you know, a, a wig or your own natural hair, a good protective bear. The main point to sum it all up is yes, everyone can benefit from this. And I wanted to do this video because in the last video I received so many questions about if I have biracial hair, is it going to benefit this? Or if I have straight or wavy hair, is it going to benefit that? Ultimately, yes, it will. Do you have to do it? No. If you do care about protecting your hair and wanting it to thrive and be thicker and, you know, not have so much shedding or um, split ends, the, that's one of the main things that I did research for to really see, like, can satin, bon satin bonnets actually benefit all hair types? Being on satin will definitely prevent split ends. That's a problem that everyone has. I hope you guys enjoyed this video in this little deep condition and chill slash chat. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys!